welcome to Poning, Owning Life. You can say it however you want. The name's not important. If you're like, you know, I have a lot of channels and if you're here to see funny, whatever stuff, just unsubscribe now. There's going to be nothing funny here. I might, yeah, it might be funny sometimes, but that's not what this channel's about. This channel's about getting in top physical condition, mastering finances, Getting, you know, your spiritual well-being in order, like wh whatever you want that to be. Like the religion isn't important. You know, me, I'm Taoist. You can be atheist. You can be agnostic. You can be Catholic. You can whatever you want. It's not important. You just need something good to hold on to. And, and your health, right? Did I, did I say all that? And your relationship's good. Whether you want one wife or five girlfriends and a wife or whatever you want. How to sort all that out. <clears throat> And I'm going to try to help answer questions uh, for people. And um, yeah, like the whole premise, like I'm just going to be totally open and honest with my motives and why I do what, because I got nothing to hide, really. I, I hope to enlighten and educate, you know, you, whoever you are watching this. And um, in doing that, if it, if it is me that hooks you up with, uh, you know, some good knowledge, you are going to respect that and be like, it, it's good to have, I'll just put it this way. It's good to have mentors and stuff like that, that you can trust to gain solid knowledge from. I have some and it's awesome. And I'm going to try to be that electronically for you if you decide and decide to leave comments and interact here. I want to say right away, because a lot of people who are going to come migrate over from Milltown Kid to M Kid to here, or however you found this place, you probably you might be young or whatever, you know, 13, 14, 15. I want you to know that you can be like, that does not have to be a barrier for doing whatever it is you want to do. Like, those barriers are like, fake walls that, you know, your parents or society might put on you. I'm going to put a link to a guy who is, a, you know, he was, a, he was a millionaire when he was 14. So if that's what you really wanted to do there, it, it's all about just getting the correct knowledge and information and experience and knowing the right people. And you can do and go and have whatever you want. You, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not going to be selling anything on this channel. I'm not going to be trying to get you to buy a book or a DVD or a seminar. You know, I want to pass on this, you know, this same knowledge that I've gotten. I got some books laid down here and that's it. And, um, yeah, I, I, I benefit from passing on that knowledge to you. The, the world benefits by the being, the, this knowledge being out there. I'm converting into, I guess, serious business mode for a couple months, and that's it. Like, I, I don't want to talk too long. I'm gonna just get into, like, I'm gonna just show you a bunch of stuff just because. First off, I just want to like lay out some books here for you. What you have here is your money or your life. If you want to, you know, I'm still working on my financial game. I'm not gonna front like I'm a millionaire and shit right now. I'm not. Like, I've mastered different elements of my life, like the spiritual relationship health stuff you know more of the internal stuff i didn't worry about the external stuff so much growing up like you could call me like a, a spiritual billionaire if you want to but this is the book for kind of getting your finances in order like the defensive aspect of it getting things done is an awesome book for getting your organizational game in order like if you're um yeah, just organizational game. And there's a lot of websites out there, 43 Folders and uh, Life Hacker and all this kind of... There's a lot of websites out there about getting really efficient with your time and energy and all that kind of stuff. You have here The 4-Hour Work Week. I like this book. Um, Timothy Ferris, uh, if you check out, you know, you can Google that or whatever. Check out his blog. He's always dropping a lot of science on different things. You have Automatic Wealth here. And it was actually the combination of this book and this book where, you know, for two months of my life in Taiwan, I, I trained jujitsu with a black belt full time. And um, that's what was my job was training full time with a black belt. And it was like it was from ideas I got 
from this book and then I was able to manage the money well enough to pay him and pay myself and party like a rock star from this book so I have real experience with these two books and you know this book I'm working on how to win flu uh, win friends and influence people is a, a, a I guess a timeless classic the the name sounds a little shady but there's some uh, excellent knowledge and information in there and I want to point out that when you read a book you know try to take away don't try to take away the whole book that's really hard take away you know when I read this book, I maybe t took away out of all of this two things that really stuck with me. And, you know, I want to read it again and take away more. And then last, I ran into this book recently. Think and Grow Rich is just, um, it's written by Napoleon Hill. And he basically, Dale Carnegie uh, is like the son of Andrew Carnegie, who was like the richest cat in the world at one point in time from doing um, iron working steel stuff or whatever basically so he linked up with this dude's pops and this dude's pops like basically gave this guy a letter that he could show all these successful people like hey i want to interview you and talk about you know find out why you're successful and fucking balling out of control and all that i swore i don't want to swear so much in this account but whatever i'm not gonna worry about that so anyway this guy interviewed and researched a bunch of successful people i think he said for 20 years you know the the ford guy the rockefellers all that and kind of compiled the different things about them that made them ultra successful like that so anyway this is a nice lineup of books here like all the information for owning life is pretty much out there for free this book you can actually download for free off the internet right now because of uh you know copyright or something is 50 years or whatever and then i'm just going to show you this um kind of chart here i just kind of made this up we're always hearing about quadrants and stuff maybe i'll modify this later but basically owning poning life is about getting your financial stuff straight and your spiritual like actually for my my style of handling things i would focus on this segment this quadrant more than anything else in the beginning and like um, these two are like my favorite, you know, and this one. And then I'm doing this one last. But if you're, you know, different people do things different ways, you might want to focus on getting your money right and then figure out the relationship stuff and whatever. But just know that, you know, I'm not a scientist, doctor or anything. But if any, if like your financial situation is kind of whack, it's going to affect your spiritual and your health. Unless you're like... The only thing I think about this is if you get really high level with this, like the other things being off doesn't really like that's that's why I think this is where the jam session is. It looks like I'm going to just run this all the way to 10 minutes. Sorry for being long and boring uh, and leave me some comments uh, letting me know where you want to go first, whether it's organization, getting your physical game up or whatever. But basically here is... um. I don't even, I just want to show this because somebody might see this and get it right away and understand how fucking gangster it is. But I just put Milltown Clan in the middle, whatever you want to call it. It's just silly. It's just the name. But basically, this inner circle shit is like my guys here in Milwaukee, Robo Nuts, and guys you nobody knows about that, you know, I'm really tight with. You got to have your inner circle. And um, then I have this outer circle, you know, Milltown Kid, the forums, MySpace, I don't use it that much, Facebook, the email list I set up. And basically, I'm, I want to throw tentacles out there to find more people to pull into the inner circle. And then I got two of uh, the owning life, you're here now, Digital Budo is some other thing I got set up, 414.org is some thing I'm setting up for Milwaukee. And like, so you have all these other circles and then you want to mingle with other like iPower Epic Foo is like this other website and and then I put you here because if you're like if you're kind of the leader type whatever I kind of want to you know school people up on how to set up their own circles and clans and brotherhoods and then they all mix together and have a good time and fucking run shop so welcome to my channel peace